Hey girls, it's me. It's Diana. I'm here with Scarlett. Uh, if you watched my last video, you know she was supposed to have been made last month, but I ended up sick month before last, and now I'm behind on my babies. But this is Scarlett. Her hair is not that long. You can still put a barrette in it, but I wanted... Her mommy told me, well, the only requirement she had was that she had green eyes and she wanted them to, she, and you're saying, well, you, what do you mean green eyes? Yep, she's got green eyes. They're, they're there. <laughs> so I made her hair a little shorter and a little sparser. Now this is how both of my baby's hair was when they were born. Although they had, they did get bald spots in the back. <laughs> but their hair was about an inch long. But it, they did have a, to me, this is a full head of hair for a baby. <laughs> and she does have armatures. Now this is Amalia. This is the sculpt Amalia. This is only the second one that I've done. I sculpted her last year in June and had the first one uh, in July. But she is, uh, she's right at eight pounds. You little chunky monkey. And she does have a drink and wet. This is a, a new hair that I tried, a supplier that I buy things from. She just started carrying mohair. So uh, I got this from her, and it is very shiny. And uh, this is, now I know she told me, she called this curly, but to me this is not curly. This is just, I call it has a little wave to it where you can make a little finger curl if you want to but but it is nice hair my second daughter I could not get her hair to lay down it stuck up on top yeah I couldn't get it to do anything <laughs> it was just Looks like she stuck her finger in a light socket. Now she has uh, oh, I see a shiny spot. She's got a cute little tushy. You know, wrinkled little back. fat feet. Now I know I've told you girls this about powdering and I mean this baby right now she's as perfect as she's ever going to be and she's going to stay that way only if you don't mess with them too much. I mean everybody wants to bathe them and dress them and you just have to be careful when you do it. You have to take. Uh, you have to think about what you're doing whenever you're doing it, or they're gonna lose their their matting layer. And when they're shiny, they just don't look realistic. Okay, let's get her dry. My printer, my sublimation printer. I do not know what's wrong with it. I've got to get in contact with, I've got to troubleshoot it. I've tried all day yesterday to get it to work. 
So this little girl had to have a, I did uh, the little ruffles and uh, on the onesie instead of doing the sublimation because I uh, couldn't get it to work. I have to tell you all, I am so excited. Um, I know a lot of you don't know, but I lost my little dog. Had a little Yorkie. He weighed about six and a half pounds. He passed away about three months ago. And, of course, we were devastated. My husband says, oh, we're not going to have another dog. It hurts too much when you lose them. That's the third one we've had to have put down since we've been together 22 years. And uh, we just decided we weren't going to do it again. And then a few days ago, we had National Doggy Day, and everybody's posting their pictures. And this house is just not the same with just the two of us here by ourselves without our little buddy. And they everybody was posting pictures. Well, back three or four years ago, two years ago, we were remodeling our bathroom and we were in a tile store and it was late at night. There weren't very many people there. There was a couple came in and they had a Labradoodle. And I looked over at him, they had him on a leash and he was wiggling, oh, he was wiggling and looking at me. And I, and I turned around, I went, oh. I said, can I touch him? And the girl goes, well, if you don't, he's gonna explode. <laughs> so I got down on my, knees and loved on him and he licked me and oh he was precious and I thought oh my god well for 13 years we had Taz and he was a tiny little guy but I always remembered that dog and thought how sweet it was and now they have a the Labrador is the dad is one of the parents and then the poodle is the other one and they're standards like a standard size poodle get up to around anywhere from 55 to 65 pounds well, the other day, everybody was posting pictures of puppies, so I went online and started looking. And I found that there aren't any kennels anywhere around me. You have to have the dog sent on a plane and delivered to you. And I thought, I don't want to be over the kennel. I don't know anything about it. It's going to be across the country. And the prices of them were outrageous. Up to five to forty seven hundred dollars from around third around three thousand to forty seven hundred dollars and I thought oh my god well I kind of just put that aside and forgot about it and then yesterday My friend that is a hairdresser in a salon that I go to he's not my hairdresser, but he's a good friend and I always see him every time I go and uh, he posted well, on National Doggy Day, he posted a picture of his Labradoodle sitting in his salon chair, and he had done her hair. And I told him, I said, oh, my gosh, that's the cute, prettiest thing i ever seen. Well, that was when I started looking at him the other day because of seeing her. Sorry, girls, I was expecting an important call, so I had to take it. Now, back to my story. Um, he had posted his pretty dog, and that was the reason I started looking at the dogs. And after I looked at them for a little bit, I decided, nah. So I kind of forgot about it. And then yesterday, he posted a picture of these two puppies, and he goes, these two have found a new home. And immediately, I text him. I said, Willie, have you got puppies? He goes, yeah, I got four left. And he started sending me pictures. I says, oh, my God. So he's local, and he gave me a great price. So I'm going to be a new mommy. I'm getting a little Labradoodle, and he's so cute. I'll post a picture of him at the end of the video if I can remember it. I have COVID brain, and believe me, girls, it's real. It's not really from COVID. It's from the medication that they give you when you're in the hospital. That stuff is... <sighs> Don't even get me started there. Okay, let me get this little girl finished dressing. And she is going to be going to the UK. She's going to have a British accent. 
her mommy doesn't speak English. And so we, everything has to get translated. And believe me, sometimes it's really hard to understand what she's trying to tell me because translators don't always get it exactly right. Now, I also made her some bling. Every little girl needs bling. Her mouth's open good enough that the pacifier goes right in easy as pie. Every time I sculpt a new baby, I try to correct things that I've done wrong in the past. So she, she's pretty special. Pretty little girl. Here's her little lovey. It matches her blankie. Her name has her name, Scar, I mean her, Passy has her name, Scarlet. I think you need to wake up, you need to wake up. <laughs> These eyes were a little easier than they were the time before. I guess each time I do it, it'll get a little easier, but it's still, still took me two days, two days just to do her eyes. So. Okay, girls, I am going to get off of here and get all her little outfits together and get her boxed up so she can go see her mommy. I know she's excited. She's been waiting two years. Okie doke. See you girls next month. I'll have uh, this month's baby close to the end or the first of the of next month. See you soon. Love you girls. Bye.